All right, perfect. Uh, I forgot the green light, so I can go ahead. Perfect. How is TC, everyone? All good? Yes, enjoying? Not too hungover from last night? It's OK? All right, awesome. Uh, all right, so thank you very much, everyone, for joining this session. It's about embedding Tableau uh, in our portal that we call the Axio portal. So let me introduce myself. I am Adrian Charles. I am the co-founder of Axio. So Axio is a Tableau partner. Uh, we are uh, sitting right over there. Um, we are a Tableau partner that is helping uh, Tableau customers as well as Alterix customer to deploy uh, and to make the most of Tableau and Alterix. So this session that you're attending today is about how to embed Tableau into our portal, which we've designed for that specific purposes, about uh, how to embed multiple technologies uh, with our platform. So the agenda for today, we'll discuss about what it is, uh, what is the actual portal. You've probably not heard about us before. Um, we'll run a quick demo of the product, how it works and how you can use it. And then if you have any question at the end, uh, you can raise your hand and I'll be happy to answer that. If you cannot uh, ask a question, ask our team over there uh, on our booth or just uh, sitting on the next slide, they'll be happy to answer any, any question you may have. All right, let me start the session with why we've created a new product and why uh, we wanted to address a, a specific need on our market. Before I do so, who here is actually already a Tableau customer or about to be a Tableau customer? Just raise your hand. Yeah, most of the room, awesome. Do you, is anyone else who's using other technologies like uh, Microsoft, uh, Excel, PDFs, and other types of technology? Who is here using other technologies? Yes, exactly. Um, so that's why we wanted to create a new product. We see a lot of our companies that we're helping on a daily basis on Tableau and Alterix having a, an adoption issue about how do I make sure that my user find the right content easily and in a simple way, as well as how do I scale to people who are not necessarily data savvy and um, that need to use other technologies. So the answer to that, many of our customers came to us with the same problem uh, and they always go to the, to the path of creating their own portal, right? So this is a possibility that you can do that will require to hire a developer, you will need to maintain your own infrastructure, it will create a lot of hassles to do that. So our answer to this problem and to help all our customers to, to do better and faster we created the Axio portal. So the Axio, Axio portal, the reason why, is to let you do it faster and in a more simple way than if you have to do it yourself. Um, we have a quick customer story about why this typical type of uh, embedding platforms is useful for them. Um, this typical customer uh, is a US-based customer and they are using Tableau. Uh, they started on Tableau Online two years ago. Um, they've done great. They are actually using Tableau for reselling uh, data to their own customers, right? So they started with Tableau Online um, two years back. They started one simple dashboard. Things were kind of simple for their customers to find. But as they grew, they started to have more and more dashboard, more and more information around the dashboard, how to use data, what's updated, what's not. Uh, and what happened is that their customers started to ask more and more questions. So they've done an FAQ inside Tableau. They started to do more and more. They started to send customers to different locations. Um, this is why we started a trial with them, because we said, OK, guys, we're going to create uh, this product, get onboarded, and see how you can use it. So now all their customers are having one central location where they can find all the information, as well as their dashboard, into one central place. So what is the actual portal in a couple of words? This is what we call an embedded analytics platform. It allows you to embed Tableau, but as well as other technologies that I'm going to show you today into one central location. So users are not sent to different places and you have a better user experience than just sending them to a Tableau server or different location. I will run you a quick demo of how it works, how you can use it, um, so you can um, see how it works in action. All right, so before I show you the uh, product and how it works, this is our website, uh, Axio website. If you don't know about us, you can Google us, Axio. Um, and you will find on our website the capacity to start your own trial right, for 30 days for free without any card or anything. You can just see if the product fits your need and can help you with your uh, user adoption and user experience. So you can, do, uh, you can do this right away. The Axio portal, as of today, is a SaaS 
software. So that means it's in the cloud and we manage the infrastructure and everything, right? We are looking at, and we had a lot of requests regarding uh, a non-premise solution. We are currently working on that. But the demo of today is on the SaaS uh, approach. All right, so once you've created your trial, you will arrive to um, this page. You'll be able to send uh, users to uh, your login page like you would do on Tableau Online, right? And every user would have uh, login and password to protect, obviously, your data and your content. So I'm just going to log in as a dummy user. And <clears throat> the demo I've created for today um, is based around Tableau, obviously, because we're all Tableau users. But we could uh, see a completely different demo without Tableau uh, if we wanted to. So let me show you the landing page, the dummy landing page I've done for my users. Uh, everything you will see on the screen is fully customizable and you can change everything very easily, right? We made the portal simple enough so you don't have to code, you don't have to know HTML or CSS or how to do embedding and single sign-on technology. All of this is packaged with our product. So for example, this is my landing page where uh, I would help and guide my users to arrive to the, to the right location, right? Uh, so, for example, imagine if I was uh, a finance uh, person in a finance department, I could direct my users directly to what's relevant for them, right? I don't have to have the same content and landing page for different groups, so I can make sure everyone finds the content that is relevant to them and that does not get lost into all the data and information that I'm throwing at them. You probably want to see some Tableau embedding after a couple of minutes. So let me show you, uh, for example, if I was a finance user, how would that uh, interact? So here on the left side, you see the finance folder, and you can see different pages that I have access to. If I have access to this page, I will be able, for example, to uh, arrive here, and what you will see is the Tableau embedding into our portal, and see how it would work for the end user. You'll see that for the end user, they don't see anything. But the point of the Axio portal is to give you more functionality than Tableau, right? So you're not going to lose any functionality. User will still be able to export, download, do all the things you can do on the Tableau server, but this time you are in full control of your environment. So we all love the Tableau interactivity. You keep all of this uh, with your Tableau portal. In this page, I made it very simple. There is only one dashboard. You could have multiple if you wanted to. So if you had um, multiple reports, you wanted to load one after another, or in different tabs, you could do more advanced content. Let me show you another example. For example, I added a tiny explanation here about this dashboard, but I could add as much as I wanted. And I'll show you how you can embed that yourself in a couple of minutes. So the question of why I mentioned um, if people are using different products is that you will see right now that some users may not need to have a full dashboard to answer the data. You probably have users coming to you and say, I just need the end of month result. I just need the, um, the latest month result. That's it. I don't need much more. Not everyone needs to have the interactivity, and some people uh, want to have a different experience. What I'm going to show you is one of the other technologies that we're supporting. So we are supporting the uh, Microsoft uh, stack file. So that includes PowerPoint, Word, and Excel documents. So right now, what you're seeing on the screen is an embedded version of Excel, right? It's a report that I've created, a dummy report, obviously, um, that I've created so the user who don't need or don't want the Tableau server and are used to their Excel report and just want to see the end of month result, you can still address that requirement without sending them to different location and managing different types of users at different places. All right, I'm not going to show you all the technologies that we support because it would be a long list of uh, pages to show you how it works. One of the requests we got quite often from our Tableau users and Tableau customers is the capacity to embed PDF because we all love to export our PDFs and your management love to do that. Uh, so what you can do is also to embed, for example, a PDF version of your document and your dashboard. So you could imagine people who don't want or don't need a Tableau license to create your dashboard print it as PDF and simply embed it here. Now you still have your two sets of users that are using Tableau and just need the PDF into one central location and all the information you need to uh, give them. Obviously, we support all type of what we call web content. So if you wanted to do uh, training videos of how to use a dashboard and all of this, there is no need to make a completed landing page or uh, to try to hack Tableau to, to do this type of things. You can simply drag and drop your videos, your text, embed other technologies like YouTube, whatever you would like uh, to give you the full uh, advantage of the web. 
All right, I will give you a quick uh, introduction of how it works because all of it seems, seems great, but it might be uh, difficult to do. So I would love to show you uh, the interface we've created to make it easy, as easy as possible. We all love the Tableau drag and drop interface and we wanted to keep that ease of use and uh, speed to do things. So we've created the product to be um, de designed for business users, not for IT uh, users. So for example, let's edit the home page that I've created, that I've made um, for this example today. So what I'm going to edit and show you is how you can simply drag and drop um, in your interface all your landing page so you don't have to code them or to bring uh, extra uh, knowledge to your companies. So for example, right here you can see uh, my landing page that I've created and I can drag and drop any type of content I would like to make my user experience as smooth as possible. So for example, if I drag the Axio uh, report, I can bring any type of report that we're supporting. So Google files, documents, all the things we mentioned straight away by simply embedding them by clicking on this button. That's it. This, you are done with embedding your Tableau report by simply clicking on this. It will appear on your page. We can talk about single sign-on and uh, how to make your uh, experience as simple as possible. Uh, the way that demo works is with trusted ticket for the people who know uh, what that means. It's basically the portal will connect to your Tableau server or your Tableau online environment uh, to make a sing single sign-on experience for your end user. So let's edit my page and let's add something a bit more visual. So if I wanted to add a map, I would simply drag and drop and change the content for my users so I'm I'm, I can be sure that they have the experience they want. All right, I'm not going to save this page. So I'm just going to leave this page. But I would like to uh, show you how you can bring a new Tableau report if you wanted to do that. Um, so let's create a new report, for example, and embed that into a page. So here I would simply give a name of uh, my report. So I call it a demo, a demo report. And you will see the different uh, type of report we support. So Tableau, PDF, Microsoft Office Suite, images, Google File, and integration with Google Drive. So if your file are living on a Google Drive environment, just bring them from here straight away. You don't need to re-upload, download them every time. It's going to get the latest version of where your data and files are living. Let's take a Tableau example because we all uh, use Tableau. I can have multiple instances of Tableau. So for example, I have one version for the US, one for Europe, or I have um, a prod and a demo environment and a dev environment. I can mo bring multiple instances straight away. In my example, I have one, but the only thing you will need to bring is the URL. You copy paste your URL into the portal and it's going to do the heavy lifting behind it, right? All the other settings you're seeing here is just to customize and see how you would like to integrate your Tableau dashboard. If you have a tablet version, a phone version, if you want to see tabs and things like this. We are working on making the integration deeper and deeper to uh, leverage as much as Tableau capabilities as possible. All right, I'm not going to go too much into details into uh, permissions and contents. If you're used to Tableau Online or Tableau Server, you know the principle of how that works. It's simple, users belongs to a group, and uh, you give permissions to groups to your certain contents. So you could have a page with multiple reports where you would simply uh, add certain groups to have certain capabilities per report or to have, to have access to certain pages or not. We've created the concept of folder that allows you, a bit like Tableau with project, to organize your content so users know where to find the same type of content. All right, you're probably seeing this interface and saying, yes, that's great, but I need to have full control of this. We made it, again, as easy as possible to decide how it needs to look and how people will interact with it. So for example, you, you see the left side is my sidebar, and I've decided right now that finance is at the top, uh, but if I wanted to promote or to change the way uh, the interface should work, I can simply drag and drop my content and reorganize completely uh, my sidebar. So as you've seen now, my sidebar on the left is completely different and my user uh, can find what's more important for them straight away. You can change your branding very easily. So we made it uh, fully possible for you to white label uh, this, either for your own customers or for you internally. You can change the logos, you can change the colors of everything you see on the screen. We are working to make it even more fully customizable, but at the moment you'll be able to change most of the things you need to, to be able to change. Um, 
I'm just going to show you the integration. So we are working more and more, adding more and more tools to integrate to that platform because you're probably using more than the technologies that I mentioned. Uh, but I will show you how you can integrate Tableau because we are all Tableau users. This is an instance that I can bring and I can use Tableau Online or Tableau Server to do this type of things. So if you wanted to do your Tableau Server, you would simply do a trusted ticket, for example. You would white label uh, our IP and then you would be up and running in five minutes. If you have any difficulties with that, we're definitely happy to help and show you the way. All right, thank you very much for this. I'm just going to show you and come back to the presentation now. All right, you're probably also all wondering of all those beautiful things are uh, costing uh, and how much that uh, is going to um, impact your company. So we wanted to make it as easy as possible with a very low entry price for people to try their product. We are starting at $5 per user per month uh, with no long-term commitment uh, and no minimum seat. Uh, so you can start with a couple of users for $5 a month per seat uh, per user. Uh, please note that every integration adds a $2 per user per month. So for example, if you want a user that has access to the actual portal and needs a Tableau integration, it will add $2 to that user. Every user can have different type of seats and capacity. So that means it's really tailored to what you need. And if you don't need a specific integration or specific licenses, you're not paying for that. The licenses are counted on a daily basis. So it's not even on a monthly. We give you a monthly price for simple of math. But we're counting at the end of the day what's your actual usage. So you can scale up and down at any point in time, whenever you want, without even contacting us. Um, I hope it was useful. Thank you very much for attending this. If you have any technical question or uh, wondering how, um, anything else, we would be happy to answer that. We've got our booth over there. I'm happy to answer questions. Or we've got uh, other people of the team that uh, are happy to answer. Uh, please leave us. Uh, um, Please complete the survey on the app to give us uh, feedback of, uh, of this session so we can improve it for next year. Thank you very much, everyone, and enjoy, enjoy TC.